Hey there everyone, Erica here from Hi49RC. If you guys have been following my Slash Upgrade series, you guys will know that I've saved the best for last. And today what we're doing is we are doing wheels and tires on this bad boy. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some, like, shims for the uh, axles. For the axle, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Like, in here they need to be shimmed a little bit. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that, but... Uh, it needs to be done, so I'm going to do it. So, let's take a look at uh, what wheels and tires I've got. So, for the tires, I picked up some Proline Badlands tires. I got them because the terrain that we have around here is pretty loose, and most of the driving that, I'm gonna, that I do is on really loose dirt and uh, loose grass and stuff like that. So I figured, alright, I need something with a little bit more bite than the stock tires here. So I decide on the Proline Badlands. Picked them up from A Main Hobbies. And then for wheels, I got the RC4 Wheel Drive. What are these? Uh, I forget the name of these. They're the RC4, these are the RC4 Wheel Drive Mickey Thompson officially licensed aluminum B Lock wheels. Um, for the short for short course vehicles. They had two of them. They or they had two different styles. One was Mickey Thompson like this and the other one was I believe it was a race line, officially licensed race line wheel, which I really wanted. It was ten bucks more a pair. Uh, but I didn't think it would really fit the short course truck look. It would fit a lot better for like a Wraith or a scale vehicle or whatnot, so Super excited. These were rather pricey, I believe. Uh, in US dollars at the time of this filming, they're like $60 a pair. Little expensive, but I think I'm going to be happy with them. So let's go ahead and tear into the packaging. So let's start with the tires here. Tear these open. I'll cut that to make it look nicer later. Alright. Hmm. That's nice. They stink. If you guys know Proline tires, they stink. But they're cool. They, they come with foam already in them, as you can see there. Yeah. they Proline does carry these pre-mounted, but I didn't want them pre-mounted because, um, I don't know, I wanted to be different. I wanted something a little more unique to my own truck, rather than just, like, grabbing some pre-mounted ones like everybody else does. Not saying everybody else does that, but, you know. Wanted to break the mold a little bit, but they feel super nice. They're really grippy. I like the compound. Um, and I think that they're going to be just phenomenal for the type of driving that I do. And granted, I don't do, like, I don't race. So, you know, whatever. Just for bashing, getting good grip and stuff like that. But I'm liking them. They feel really nice. Alright, so I've already had a look at these. I've already opened them. Or one package. I think it's the other one, actually. Just to see what all is in there. And, you know, obviously you get the bead locks. Uh, let's see if I can pull these out. Yeah, there you go. I like the way our four wheel drive packages stuff like this with the foam and stuff. It looks really nice and keeps them nice and clean. So, there's one. The wheel is machined aluminum, and then uh, this plastic ring is obviously plastic. Um, and then you actually need to take out, for when you're assembling them, you have to take out each and every one of those little uh, hex bolts and assemble it that way. The other one, you also get some different, um, I think these are thinner than what is stock, like some thinner wheel hex adapters um, in case you need a little bit less or you want a little bit less back spacing. And then also comes, I'll show you guys closer up later, but it comes with a little, um, like a little adapter for the, for the scale bolts on them. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking out all of the little beadlock screws that go all the way around the beadlock wheel here and the wheels come with like a little like adapter thing on the end these bolts are or screws they're two and a half millimeter hex head so the exact same as the tip of my driver here 
but basically it's just a little converter and it converts it well just makes it so that you can undo this essentially Alright, there we go. Now we've got the beadlock ring off. We can remove the plastic inner ring and then this is the back half of the beadlock. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the larger side of the wheel, or the tire even, like this, this way. Just stuff it in there. And you're going to have to, once it's in there like that, you're going to have to pull the bead like up basically a bunch of massaging you gotta pull the bead up and over like that and basically get it to seat over the edge of the beadlock ring there there we go now that it's pretty much all the way over just kinda squish it down in there like so so you can see nice and flush in there now what we're gonna do is I'm going to take the, this is technically the back half of the beadlock and just put it right in there like that push it in that snap is the um, is the back half aligning into the hole of the plastic and now we can what needs to happen is there's um, as you can see there's like it folds in half the, the tire has a specific gap like this that slides down over the, um, the plastic beadlock ring so you just kinda have to massage it there and make sure that it's seated down over there properly so that well otherwise uh, your beadlock is not going to sit properly so with that now done I'm going to take my beadlock ring here the front one and seat it just on top like so get the holes lined up there are there's a ton of holes around the outside some of them are threaded um, in this piece some of them are threaded some of them are not so you just have to line it up with the ones that are threaded otherwise you're not going to be getting them threaded in very well now what I'm going to do is um, to get this down far enough to the point where I can put all of these little screws in is I'm going to take longer screws since the little screws that um, are for the beadlock are three millimeter I can take longer screws here and thread them in to get the beadlock ring seated all the way down Alright, now with those four screws all screwed in and the beadlock ring is seated down, I can now take all of, um, all of these little baby screws here, I'm going to dip them in thread lock and just set them in the holes and then tighten them down. I think I've showed this in another video, but a good trick for thread lock is to put it in a bottle cap or a water bottle cap or something like that and then you can just dip your screw in and it's the perfect amount of thread lock for what you're doing. Alright, there you go. Now we can remove 
all of these four other screws that we put in to hold the beadlock ring down. And then do the same thing with the last four screws, dip them in thread lock and set them in the holes and tighten them down. All right, now you've got your tire mounted to your beadlock wheel and you can you can put this on your truck right now. But what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take out these center screws and put thread lock on them because I really don't want to be losing any of these. There we go. Now I am satisfied with the assembly of my beadlock wheel here. The only thing that I will say about these is that these um, screws and the little adapter here for your screwdriver, they don't fit very well so it's really easy to round the heads off. But other than that, great build quality. Now let's put them on the truck. All right, time to install these. I am super looking forward to seeing how these look on this thing because, like, I don't know. I think that they're going to turn out really, really nice, but uh, we'll see. So, I mean, it's literally just putting a tire on. You all know how to put a freaking tire on, so. That, I need to take the hex off because I need to, um, need to, give me my cross wrench back. I need to put some nylon spacers in. No, that one's already got one actually. But I think I could use another one. Yeah, I'm gonna put another one on there. Just cause I don't need slop, you know. Nobody likes slop. Like that. Pin back in. Hex back on. That and Grab one of our tires here, or wheels, I don't know what to call it, wheel or tire, either one. Stick it back on. Put the wheel nut back on, which I do have pink wheel nuts since I was originally planning on building like a pink truck, but uh, you know, didn't really turn out to be super pink, but whatever. I'm gonna save that just in case so then like if I'm going to the skate park or something I can put the other tires on so I'm not wearing these ones down too much and just like that through the magic of editing all four wheels are on this thing is looking so gnarly the tread on these things is actually intense like look at that they look so sick. I'm super happy with the way these turned out. I hope that you guys like them too. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. That's better. It was missing something. Very nice. It's looking so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video of the summer slash upgrade and repair whatever. Um, this is gonna be this is the last one. I'm super happy with all the upgrades that we were able to do on this thing. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging along with me on this. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Make sure you post up in the comment section down below what you think of this gnarly tire and wheel combination from Proline and RC4-wheel drive. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. And I'll see y'all next time.